Welcome back, welcome back. This is the 2021 past paper and I've only got part A here. I'm gonna read through it and try and give as much context as I can. So I'm gonna skip all this section here because this is just instruction to learners, instruction to learners, uh, set task brief. This is what I wanna see. Let me zoom in as much as I can. So first and foremost, it says, Rodri's is a restaurant in Bath. So Bath is somewhere near Bristol, not in London. So this is out of London. It employs 16 on-site staff plus two external contractors. And again, contractors are people that are not, again, hired by the company directly. They don't. They might not get a, a fixed salary every month. Contractors, you bring them in when you want them to do something specific. You pay them to do that specific thing, and then they go. Uh, the person or the two people that they have are um, an accountant and IT support. IT support could be an entire company, but we don't care right now. They simply say accountant and IT support. The restaurant is open Tuesday to Sunday, 6.30 until 10.30 p.m. It is closed each Monday for stock taking. All right, stock taking is where you, you count everything, make sure everything is okay, make sure that um, if you had 100 things last week and you said you sold 95, you should have five in stock ideally. If things are missing, you can make note of it, so on and so forth. So literally keeping stock, stock taking, taking stock, knowing what you have now versus what you had before. That's all stock taking is. Deep cleaning, I don't think I need to go over what that is, and maintenance. Maintenance, just making sure everything is running as it should. Let me close that. Uh, the restaurant serves a variety of meals. The restaurant has a seating for 60 customers at a time, a bar area, kitchen, administration office, and maintenance room. I would make note of all of these places simply because this, I'm getting the vibe that there's there's gonna be something along the lines of there's Wi-Fi and customers can connect to the Wi-Fi and people in the kitchen can do this and they might have a mobile device that does this. I haven't read this paper yet. This is just an assumption I'm making. So make note or highlight these areas when making your notes. All right, the staff use a manual system for ordering meals. The server writes down what each customer has chosen and passes the information to the host. The host uses the information to prepare the customer's bill and also give the information to the kitchen staff so they can prepare the food. Not a very efficient system. Straight away, I don't know what we have to do, but straight away, just off topic here a bit, I we can make the system much more efficient. If we had, let, let's say, what, um, a mobile phone ordering system and we had like a, an app on the phone, I take the order and everyone can see the order, everyone can see the table, we can work out the bill at the same time, the kitchen can see the order on a big screen, just off the top of my head. At the end of the evening, the total takings are balanced against customer orders. All this means um, we sold, uh, what did they say? They said 60 customers. So let's just say tonight we had 60 customers only and each person's or each customer's order came up to roughly a hundred pounds. So that's roughly 6,000 pounds for tonight only. The amount of money we made tonight should be equal to or relatively equal to the amount of customers that we had. And if it's not something happened in between, the restaurant currently has a website that gives details of the restaurant and the menus. The owner is responsible for the website. Again, make note of this. Back in Unit 11, um, I think his name was Baljinda. He wasn't a specialist of networking, if you guys watch my previous videos. The owner is responsible for the website. They've given us no information here that this person is IT literate or competent enough to do this in a secure manner. So again, just making random piece guesses here on, on things that they've said. Next, we have the restaurant IT systems are old and outdated. Boom. This will show 100%, 1 million percent be highlighted. Um, they need to be updated or new equipment purchased so that it can, um, so that it, has an efficient IT system to store and manage its information and data requirements. Perfect, all right, they've told us what we need to do straight away. Roger is not a real organization, but it is representative of this type of facility in the hospitality sector that you might want to investigate as part of your research. Okay, so we finished reading this part. It didn't give us too much information, but I made a few inferences based on the fact that we're gonna deliver some IT service to this company. You are advised to spend a maximum of three hours doing your research. So this is where you are allowed to take into the exam a single piece of A4 paper back and front. Now, I would highly recommend typing these. You can write it if you really, really want to. I would recommend typing it because when typing, people tend to um, be able to fit a lot more on the pages. Uh, you will research the IT service delivery requirements that are relevant to the hospitality sector. You should research similar organizations of the size and type in the hospitality sector, and you should consider 
hardware requirements again this is in my powerpoint software requirements again in the powerpoint data and information requirements and relevant it legislation so everything related to this kind of company these are the things you need to think about so let's quickly let's just briefly touch on hardware right if you guys have ever been to nando's here in the uk nando's i i, I guess mcdonald's any one of those turkish restaurants typically or the big turkish rest any restaurant to be fair that that has like a relatively um big um company let's say right the harder requirements the things that they typically have in these restaurants are maybe a till system at the front of the restaurant um i believe nando's has now started to let people order directly from their phones and they actually don't need to interact with people ordering at all unless you really want to so think of that kind of restaurant when doing your research think of a restaurant that can house roughly 60 people now it doesn't have to be um a non-chain restaurant because for example here they didn't tell us that this rest restaurant was a chain they simply told us it can house roughly 60 people so you can look at something like nando's because the typical nando's store can house roughly i'm guessing between 50 and 100 people so, so it's going to be very similar even though nando's is a chain they're much richer they're a much more uh, wealthy company they, they can have much more things in place but similar type of company think of a mobile device think of a till think of the software that they need for all of this so think of till software think think of restaurant ordering software uh, software requirements as uh, sorry that was for hardware so think of um yeah the hardware the physical stuff that they can touch the tablets that they need the tills the mobile phones the internet so on and so forth um think of software requirements as well i've mentioned the operating systems that need to run on the till i think there are a few of them are called till os you can literally google till operating systems or good till software and see which companies use which one we have data and information requirements so what kind of data or and or information do they require from either the person taking the order the person giving the order the person doing the order and we have relevant it legislation as well computer misuse act the um, health and safety act whatever you can think of you're going to make note of all of that and you've been given some basic information on the company thus far you can make a certain inferences so because they're going to be using it the data protection act is going to be there the computer misuse act is going to be there as well as standard right so you can think around that and what else might be needed um the patents the the design and patents act i don't really see how it's going to come in and be relevant here but if you can think of a way in your scenario that you are given then 100 percent put it and it says next specifically for the future developments you may want to investigate it service delivery requirements of updating the website to include online restaurant bookings perfect i think i mentioned that earlier providing technology for customers to order their meals from their table so nando's does this you go on the nando's app you don't need to interact with anyone you can make your order and you can even put notes in a notes section i believe where you can tell them for example i like my chicken very well done when i go to nando's and i go there and, and i see stuff running out of the chicken it's not very well i'm like mm -mm, not for me so i like my chicken very well done so i'll put that in the note section i like my chicken either hot or medium but not extra spicy and then maybe installing a digital menu board again i mentioned this so this is in the kitchen of a nando's restaurant so i think for 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 um a scenario like this we can actually just mimic what nando's does or mimic what a, a, a McDonald's store does or mimic a small chain of restaurants that can house roughly 50 to um, 100 people because these people said they can house 60. If we mimic some of the hardware and software that they have or mimic um, the overarching business practices and then select different hard hardware and software based on what we think is good. Because maybe having um, every single employee have their own hardware might not be the best having the same software that nando's has might not be the best because in most cases you pay a monthly subscription if you're a relatively small restaurant you don't want to do that you want to pay a one-off fee um, or pay a very low subscription value whereas nando's probably they have their own app you might not want your own app that's just too much stuff to worry about um, you might even want to use some something like deliveroo or just eat and they do table services well so you can go to a restaurant and you can fill in all these details on the app and it will, and they'll actually bring the food to your table. You pay online. Everything is all good. So um, again, let me just cover this again, specifically for future developments. So I mentioned before, when designing, we don't just design for now. We don't, we can never just design for now because more than likely the company or business that you're designing for, you don't want to design them something that when they want to update it or upgrade it or change something, they have to redo the entire thing. You want to design in a way that is, um, 
is capable or, or or they have the ability to add stuff on later on so it's it's, it's not a scalability so you you can simply add more stuff later as and when it's needed and the things that you might want to consider here updating the website to include online restaurant bookings so people don't have to call or come in to order something they can book online and come and pick up providing technology for customers to order uh, their meals from their tables the easiest simplest thing to do off the top of my head 90 percent of people in the uk right now have a smartphone and if everyone has a smartphone you have a qr code on your table you let them open their camera app or their QR code scanner app. They scan, it takes them directly to the restaurant, directly to the menu, and they can start adding stuff. And the first thing it's gonna ask them is what table are you on? And maybe the tables are numbered. Uh, they said 60 people, so let's just say um, 60 tables. Let's just make, keep it simple, 60 tables, your table number 54. You fill in your table number, you fill in your name, you choose what you want, you pay for it right there and then. There's no back and forth on the, um, I think it said earlier that someone needs to take the order then give it to someone else to work out how much it costs then that person needs to give it to the kitchen and it's just a constant back and forth and there's none of that's needed when you do your order everybody that needs to see your order can see your order the person at the till can see it be like, okay this person just ordered this all right let's let me maybe note that down so for stock taking later on i can see what's done and even having an app or a website you don't even need to do stock taking because it's most likely going to be automated so at the end of the night, let's say the restaurant closes at 10 p.m. At 10 or 1 p.m., when you shut everything down, it will tell you today we had 500 orders. 500 orders came to roughly, let's just say, 10,000 pounds for 500 orders. It tells you what people ordered, how many legs they ordered, how many wings, how many chicken breasts, how many burgers. It tells you everything. So even when doing stock taking, you don't need to go and count anything. It tells you exactly what you sold already. So you can simply go look in your fridge and be like, hmm, the thing says we've sold of the 95 chicken legs, we've sold, sorry, of the 100 chicken legs, we've sold 95. So we should have five. When you go in there and check and you have four or five, maybe six, you're like, oh, it's, it's okay. This is within reasons. I can work with this. Um, okay, so in part B, you will design and plan the IT service delivery solution for Rogeries in relation to the IT service delivery life cycle. You will be able to to take two sides of individually prepared okay this is just stuff that you can take into to the exam again it needs to be a4 back and front i would do bullet points bullet point everything for example hardware requirements straight away i'm thinking mobile phone give the employees a mobile phone to use in a restaurant and because it's a restaurant the battery you don't want the battery to die very quickly so it would not be an iphone so all you apple users out there mm -mm, we're not using iphones for this one it's most likely going to be android phones and again for all the samsung users out, out, out there it's probably not going to be a samsung phone i would probably go for again i love motorola a motorola g g9 plus a motorola g100 whatever a good cheap sub 200 pound motorola would be and again you need to justify why would i choose that these motorola's have um I, I can quote a few specs here just because I know them. A Snapdragon 480 chip. It has a 6.5 inch screen, headphone jack, Bluetooth uh, speakers, uh, Wi-Fi, everything that you'll need. But mainly it has a 5,000, in some cases a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, which means the average person using it medium to heavy use gets like two or three days out of this thing. So if you only need to use it for one night or one evening or one day at a restaurant, you should be good. They come with USB chargers, and because they come with USB-C chargers, any single USB-C cable you buy can work. So even if that cable gets damaged, you don't have to go and buy that expensive. So there's so many things that we can think about. But again, whatever that scenario needs, that's what you're going to focus on. We have a general idea of what this scenario will need from us as the IT people. Make sure you choose your hardware requirements. And you're going to need name, model numbers, price, justification, software, name, software version, justification. So for this company, I probably wouldn't even do a subscription of Microsoft Office. I would probably give them something like um, WPS Office, LibreOffice, a free version of Excel or even Google Drive online, completely free. Every employee can access the same thing once the owner or the manager shares that information with them. And again, free or very cheap data and information requirements what information what data do you need um, in terms of what does the customer need to provide you with what do you need to provide the kitchen with what do you need to provide the accountant with what do you need to provide the it specialist 
again, data and information. Relevant IT legislation are the only two I can think of off the top of my head straight away. Uh, actually, I would put health and safety in, in there as well because it's a kitchen. You don't want people walking around using their phones while they're trying to cook stuff. Maybe just have a screen above their head. All they have to do is tilt their head up. They don't have to touch a screen at all. They tilt their head up. When something is done, they reach above their head, press OK, done. Again, this, this is just me reading and brainstorming. The next video I'm going to be doing is probably going to be um, activity one, the theory section using this. I'm not going to make notes because I'm going to try and give as much context on the options or choices I'm making whilst I make them. So stay tuned. Good luck. Hopefully this was helpful.